Okay. Taylor Ashen out, Bauckham out, Markowitz out, Christian Thomas did a little bit, but still basically out, and Devon Fornoy out for the most part. Other guys did stuff, worked in there. Galippo did a little bit, we kept him out of some stuff. Uh, Soma came out with the migraine. Andre Walker, he, Cody Temple back, and Cyrus Hobby knee. Thought guys practiced pretty well. Uh, I'm glad that we're out here at this time of day. One of our warmer days and more like what we'll be in six days from now. So it's good to see. Tried to really push them through in full pads. Thought they responded well. They voted on captains today. Ellison, Barkley, Tupo, and TJ McDonald. So proud for those guys. Happy for them as they lead this team in this season. Your anticipation at this point that Chris Gallipo is going to be good to go for the Minnesota game? Oh, I don't know. You know, we'll see. You know, they have the day off tomorrow. And we come back with a Wednesday practice on Tuesday. And so... Um, you know, we'll need to see some more of them then. Regardless of his health situation, I know you talked about platooning or playing a lot more players. Is middle linebacker one of those places where you can do that? We want to. We want to do that uh, at a number of spots, and so we're going to try to go into the opener like that. And that's up to our backups of making sure that they're ready to go and that we have confidence in them. Even if there's a step down from where they're playing, you know, the whole point is that they're ready to go and that a guy that may be a little bit better, that's the first unit, but if he's playing 70, 70 plays, he can't play. And so, you know, going back, you know, we don't want to happen what happened last season. You know, you took, take the first three games last year, you know, the offense scored on their last time they touched the ball three times. It's, uh, I believe, three drives over 60-yard touchdowns. And watch those things, we're dashed, we're dead. And so we can't let that happen again. Is Will Andrews considered the third middle linebacker behind the other two at this point? Yes. Fair to say John Martinez has the edge at the right guard spot at this point? Yeah, yeah it is. Um, John's doing well and uh, hopefully he can continue to improve there and, and play really well next Saturday. D another different left guard today? You're still just kind of trying different combinations? Yeah, nobody will take it. You know, we keep trying to give it away and nobody takes it. So through Jeremy in there today, which is where he was um, some in the spring. So we'll see how, how that film went. Andre Walker went out. Was he heat uh, related? Mm -hmm. About a tailback right now. Do you know who you can start? Do not. Um, thought Curtis looked good today. Probably the, the best of them today, but we'll see. We'll go back and look at it and figure it out by Saturday. Any other positions where you make, you know, you solidified things or you made a final decision or was waiting? Not really. Just touchdown. really made decisions about that we're going to play a lot of guys. And so we have some close battles and we'll look at, there'll be some positions. <laughs> that you'll see Saturday that will, will be 50-50. And there will be some positions that aren't as close, it'll be 75-25. And so our goal is to get them to 50-50, but if one guy's that much better player, then um, we'll go 75-25. So hopefully we're not not wearing anybody out, especially on defense. Where was up, Deion Bailey today? Um, he did have something. I can't remember what it was this morning. Something, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. His dad got remarried, and so he had to go to his wedding. If you have uh, like a freshman and a junior that are even, do you favor one over the other? Uh, like a freshman because you're going to have them for four years? Not because we're going to have them for four years, but if they're even at this point, usually that means in a couple weeks from now they won't be. And so if a freshman has pulled himself even with a junior after 20 practices, usually that means he's going to pass them up because the junior's been here for a long time. So it's not because we have them longer or anything to do with recruiting, it's just. Uh, that's usually what happens. If they're already even, usually the freshman's going to be that much better, you know, two, three weeks from now. What was the uh, reaction when you gathered the guys yesterday and then you know, basically told them that there's no practice? So, uh, I think it was good and it was well deserved. I don't think we could have physically practiced. You know, that would have been, I believe, five days in a row and then come out here for a Tuesday practice. And that, uh, I, don't, I don't think we could have physically done that and had a practice all day. So um, it was good. It was well deserved. They had, they had the day off. Some food that's not extremely healthy, finally, with Roscoe's. <laughs> Shows my words wisely there. Um, so they were excited about that. Coach O bought it for him. So they were, they were really pleased. You said that John Martinez has improved enough to guard that you feel comfortable with him starting. What, what, what was the improvement for him? Consistency. You know, John had done some things well, but had been inconsistent at times. And so um, it was, it's been really good to see him develop and, and do things right and be more consistent. Status on Armand Armstead. He'll have some more tests later this week. And uh, in preparation for the test, they don't allow him to do any physical 
activity uh, the week leading up to it. So you won't have them for the opener? Is it safe to say you will not play in the opener? Uh, I wouldn't say that. It'll, be, it'll depend on these tests later this week. He would have enough practice dates and pads and all that kind of stuff to be able to do that? Yeah, he wouldn't be able to start for us and play 70 plays or something, but he could play in a limited role. Okay.